Okay, uh, hello and good day everyone. No? So since tapos na tayo sa perimeter of quadrilateral, this time naman we will discuss about the area no, of a quadrilateral. Okay, area of a given quadrila general quadrilateral, no? medyo may pagkakaiba siya doon sa mga previous lessons nyo during your grade 7 and grade 6 about the area. Nandito may konting difference kasi nga general quadrilateral ang hahanapan natin. In a general quadrilateral, no, each area is A equal to one half times T. Yung din natin dito will serve as the dia diagonal. No? Then, then uh, H of 1 plus H of 2. So, ito yung represent sa, ano, sa height. Kasi once na magkaroon tayo ng... Just like this one. No? So, once na magkaroon tayo ng isang diagonal here, we can form two triangles. No? And then... Since we can form two triangles and then we are going to find the area, we need the height of each triangle. No? So that's why we have H of 1, then H of 2. Now, let us have an example here. Find the area of a quadrilateral ABCD if the segment DB or the diagonal DB is 12 cm. Yung H of 1 natin is 5. Ito yun, yung height ng triangle, triangle DAB no? is 5 cm. And then the height of H of 2, or yung value ng H of 2 or the height of triangle BCD is 7 cm. Now, substitute lang natin from this formula. No? Okay? We have here 1 half equal, I mean, times your D, which is the di diagonal. No? We have 12 times your H of 1 is 5. Your H of 2 is 7. 5 plus 7, I mean, 1 half times 12 is 6 cm. 5 plus 7 is 12. Then 6 times 12, that would be equal to 72 square centimeters. So, ganun lang. Okay? Another one. Here, no? find the length of DB if the area of the quadrilateral is 136 square meters and the height of the two triangles are 6 and M, I mean 6 and 10 meters. Okay, hanapin natin yung diagonal. Pero given na yung area at saka yung mga heights of two triangles. Now, substitute natin. Your A here is 136 square meters equal to 1 half times your D is BD. No? Your H of 1 is 6. Your H of 2 is 10. No? So here, para matanggal yung 1 half, we will multiply it by 130, 136. 136 times 2 equal to BD. 6 plus 10, that is 16. 136 times 2 that would be equal to 272. No? Then divide both sides by 16. Now, 272 square meters divided by 16 meters is equal to 17. No? Then this one, cancel out natin. Your BD here is 17 meters. Okay? Next, another example. If the area of quadrilateral ABCD is 348 square inches and yung segment BD natin is 4X. Your H of 1 is 12. Your H of 2 is 17. Nandito ako ha, babasa. What is X and BD? No, dalawa hanapin natin. Yung X at saka yung BD. Now, again, we will use this formula. Your A here or the area is 348 square inches na. No, given our, uh, na kagad. Yung uh, here, no, 1 half your D here is BD. Or, or equal to 4x, no, diagonal. Then yung h of 1 natin is 12. Your h of 2 is 17. Now, multiply natin. Am I right? Okay. So no need. 348 square inches equal to 1 half times 4x. That would be equal to 2x. No? Then 12 plus 17, that is 29 inches. Multiply natin. No? Tingnan muna to. 2x time tw times 29. That would be equal to 58. Then divide both sides by 58. 348 divided by 58. No? Cancel out na to. Magiging x. 348 divided by 58. That would be equal to 6 inches. So your x is 6 inches done. Now, if you are going to find the, the length of BD, substitute your x to 6. 4 times 6, that would be equal to 24 inches for your BD. Okay? So, madali lang, no? Exercise tayo. Find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD if the AC is 68 inches 
your DF is 29, your B is 25 inches. O, ganun lang. Area naman ang hinahanap natin. So, pidget na natin kaagad na yung mga values. Your AC here, ito yung magiging diagonal. No? We have 68. Your, your DF, no? ito yung DF natin. No? Yung H of 2, DF is 29. Your H of 1 natin or yung BE, ito yung BE, is equal to 25 inches. No? So, 1 half times 68, that would be equal to 34. 25 plus 29 is 54. Multiply natin, 34 inches times 54 inches, that would be equal to 1,836 square inches. No? Sa area, laging may exponent na 2. Yung unit niya. Next, find AC if the area of the given quadrilateral is 516 square meters Your BE natin, yung H of 1 is 20. Ito yun. Your DF is 23. Ito yun. What is the diagonal o yung AC natin? Again, using this formula. No? Substitute your A to 516 equal to 1 half times your D is AC. Your H of 1 is 20. Your H of 2 is 23. No? Multiply natin to by 2. No? So we have 516 times 2 is 1,032. Then 20 plus 23 is 43. Divide both sides by 23. Cancel out. No, we have 1,032 divided by 43. That would be equal to 24 meters for your AC. Okay. Next, what is why if the area of the given quadrilateral is is 127.5 square decimeter, your AC is 98 decimeter, your BE is y plus 4. Ito yun, yung hinahanap natin. Yung DF naman natin is 2Y minus 9 din. No, hinahanap din natin ito. Now, substitute. Your A to 127.5 square decimeter equal to 1 half times your D is 98, which is your AC. Your H of 1 is Y plus 4. Your H of 2 is 2Y minus 9. No, add natin. I mean, ah, bring down muna ito. 1 half times 98. That would be equal to... May right. Ah. Parang mali ito. 98 divided by 2. That would be equal to 46. Tama, tama no? 46. May right. Let me check. That is 49. Sorry. Okay. That is correct. Tama. Okay. No? So, 98 times 1 half is 49. No? For, I mean, y plus 2y is 3y. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. No? This is meter. Now, multiply natin ito. No? Itong 49 is a 3y. And then 49 to negative 5. Then we have 49 times 3y is 147. 49 times negative 5 is 240 dm squared. So ito naman dmy. Now, I mean, transpose 240 to the other side, magiging 127.5 square decimeter plus 240 square decimeter is equal to 147 decimeter y. Now, add natin, that would be equal to 367.5. Then divide both sides by 147, cancel this out. We have 367.5 divided by 147 is equal to 2.5 decimeter. No, that is your y. Okay? So that's it. Thank you for listening. And again, do not forget to answer your exercises. Okay? That's all. I mean, uh, yung quiz and assignment pala to be followed na. Okay? That's all. Goodbye and God bless.